Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakira and so today is Saturday. I haven't picked up the camera. That may be a little better. I haven't picked up the camera this entire week. It's been a very, very, very busy week for me. Um, and I actually intended to pick up the camera this morning because I had to go and record a video earlier with um, two colleagues, but we finished that. It's being edited now by one of our people. But I just got a text like, hey, do you wanna go to the concert tonight? Mind you, it's like after seven, the concert started at seven. So I'm like, sure, why not? So I am currently about to go to a concert, the Strength of a Woman Festival. I think tonight is like Lucky Day, Lauren Hill, um, Mooney Long, Coco Jones, I think. I don't even know. I didn't even know this was happening tonight. I didn't know I was going anywhere. I thought I was going to be on the couch. So I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm actually in the midst of like washing clothes. So I have clothes everywhere. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Y'all, I'm literally like, how do we get here? How do we get here? I just got back from the concert and I want to show y'all what I had on. It was this two-piece set from Fashion Nova. It's my first time wearing it, but it's just the, you know, like bandeau top and it's like pink like this. And I had on some silver heels that I had gotten from Target and some really pretty earrings. I'll show y'all what the earrings look like, but I just took them off. Um, but it was fun. I'll tell y'all more about it tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Today is Sunday. It's Mother's Day. It's uh, February 14th. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. I'm about to call her in a second. It's still early. I just made myself some oatmeal and I had a phone call um, about the video project that I worked on yesterday. Some edits that need to be done within the next few hours on that. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the concert. I got home from the concert at like, it was almost two o'clock in the morning. And I left the concert a little after 12. The reason it took so long, which is what I learned last night and my Uber driver told me to share it with people, is that Lyft apparently, allegedly from his mouth, not mine, is that Lyft allegedly doesn't pay their drivers well so whenever you leave like a big event don't call a lift i didn't know that so when i left the group that i was with they they like walked me to where the lift pickup was before they went to their car and i i remember i was like should i drive should i drive but i was like let me just you know lift or uber there because i didn't know i was already late for the concert and i didn't know how parking was gonna be so i took a lift there and I'm like, oh, this was so easy. Let me just take a lift back. Y'all, I left. We left the concert early. Like, Lauren Hill was still performing. And I'm like, oh, bet. Like, this is the perfect time because everybody's still inside. I can't catch my lift. No, ma'am. I waited at that lift pickup for, like, I want to say I waited, like, 15, 20 minutes because I was on the phone with Crystal. She was on FaceTime with me while I was waiting. And... It kept canceling on me. So I was like, okay, let me walk down the street. I don't want to walk too far. Like, I still wanted to be around people because I was by myself. So I walked down the street to a restaurant. It was, you know, like, it was people there, but it wasn't like so many people that 
it would be impossible for me to catch a ride. I ordered another lift, waited maybe like another 20 minutes. They kept canceling on me. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I had called my friend and I'm like, hey, cause my Uber app is like not working. So I called my friend and I'm like, hey, um, can you go on your Uber app and order an Uber at this location? So the Uber like picks up immediately and I ended up coming home. So that's why it took me so long to get home because like Lyft was not working. So if you're ever like in Atlanta, I don't know if it's just Atlanta specific and you leave like a big event and you're trying to catch a Lyft, don't catch a Lyft, catch a Uber because Lyft will cancel, cancel, cancel your ride and you'll be waiting there for an hour. So um, the concert, the concert was like Mooney Long, um, Lucky Day, um lauren hill and summer walker i miss mooney long because i got there late y'all i had just walked in the door from recording a video i had just walked in the door put my bag down and i'm like okay cool i can like clean up because y'all i need to clean up it's been a hard week and like a very busy week and i have not had time to clean anything so i was like okay now i can clean up that's done let me clean up then it was like bu 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 buzz 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 like you want to go to this concert and i'm like sure let's go so that's how i ended up going so today i really do need to put a dent in uh, i have some work to do too in preparation for tomorrow but i need to put a dent in this um but yeah i saw i missed money long because i was late and i saw lucky day he was good um he has a great voice like he was singing for real um he has a great voice a lot of energy um connection with the crowd which i appreciated summer was summer lauren hill it's funny because i posted her on my instagram story and somebody wrote back they were like how late was she because <laughs> you know that's kind of her mo at this point like she's gonna be late she was she was late but it wasn't like well, or maybe we just didn't notice because the um host kenny burns he like kept everybody like lit the whole time so maybe it was just like he was doing such a good job that we didn't notice time passing because i really don't feel like she was late late the only thing that indicates to me that she was late was that he introduced her and then we like everybody stood up like getting ready and everybody ended up sitting back down because they weren't ready with like the sound or something like that but she was cool too. I was saying like, it felt good to like be able to say, okay, I've seen Lauren Hill perform in person because y'all know she don't be coming out the house like that. And it also, I was telling my Uber driver this last night, sometimes you just want to see people in person just to make sure they're good. Like seeing her in person, I felt good because I'm like, she looks good. Like, and it just, you know how black people be like, I just need to put my eyes on you. I just need to put my eyes on you. Make sure you look, you know, make sure you are right. Let me put my eyes on you. That's how it was. Like, just putting my eyes on her. I was like, she looks good. I feel good being able to see that she looks good. So, it was cool. Um, she did perform some of my favorite songs by her. So, I appreciated that. But, yeah, I came home and I went to sleep. I was exhausted. I have had a long week and this next week is about to be a long week as well but honestly i'm like if i can make it through last week i can make it through this week i've had harder weeks we could do this so today i'm gonna do some work i need to set a timer maybe at like 11 i'll start doing some work so yeah around 11 i'll um start diving into my workload and then start cleaning up this place simultaneously. But all right, I'll see y'all in a few. So I just boiled some crawfish. I washed my hair, which is why it's tied down because I'm just gonna like bun it all week. So I just did like a bun and then I'm watching Atlanta Housewives because they came back last week. So I'm gonna do that and then probably take a nap. And oh, I, I did like a Target pickup order. I don't know if I told you, I picked up an order from Target of some stuff I needed. Like, nothing vlog worthy, small stuff. But, okay, let me go back to watching Housewives. So, today, 
this thing is like so this camera is so finicky about like glasses whenever i wear glasses it like makes my face look darker when i take them off it brightens it up i don't know what it is but anyway today's monday happy monday i have not posted a vlog in forever i probably haven't posted a vlog in three weeks not that i haven't been vlogging i've been vlogging except last week i didn't vlog during the week why do i feel like it's gonna burst oh, okay um i just didn't vlog during the week because i was super busy still busy this week but i'm trying to get like at least some clips in the afternoon like this it's 7 30 and i have a zoom at 8 p.m um with the group i'm working with but and then tomorrow i have a field trip with the kids in the morning but yeah it's just been super busy but like good busy like i love it busy but yeah tonight we got a zoom so i'll kick that off for them what was i gonna come on oh i was gonna get on here and tell y'all that um today the brand that i was working with that i told y'all about it was like it's like my first like paid brand deal um they approved the content so i was really happy about that and i'll be honest i'll be honest because i shot it in a rush last week and i wasn't happy with how it came out um yeah i wasn't happy with how it came out but i just did i didn't have time to like change anything so like it just it had to go as is and i was like not happy about it and i was preparing myself for them to be like yeah we don't like this <laughs> but they liked it they approved it and i was like oh wow but then i kind of was like man imagine what they would have liked if you were able to shoot it how you wanted to shoot it like you ever have you ever done something like even with schoolwork when you were in school and you felt like you knew you didn't do it to the best of your ability or like your capabilities but you just got it done and then people love it or you get a good grade on it and you like imagine if i had done it you know up here instead of like here one thing i did learn with that is that um it's so important to shoot things early <laughs> like a lot of these things are like really quick turnaround times so it's just best to like start planning before you get the product my i messed up because i waited until i got the product to be like okay I'm gonna wear this outfit. I think I'm gonna shoot it here, um, et cetera, et cetera. Instead of just like, okay, I'm not quite sure how the product is gonna look, but I'm gonna pull this out and we'll see if this works. So I'm gonna pull this outfit out and we'll see if this works. And like scouting locations in advance, I just felt like I had more time and I didn't because I needed to go back home for my niece's graduation. I knew that I wasn't gonna have time to do it when I was down there, I knew it. <laughs> but I was still like, I might have time. I knew I didn't have time. So anyway, you live and you learn. So I'm moving forward with the new information that I've gathered from that and prayerfully, hopefully, guys will. I have many, 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 many more to come. So try not to miss starting in Zoom because I'm the person that has to start the Zoom. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, hump day. I'm in the midst of taking my vitamins and I need to wash these dishes before I leave. It's eight o'clock in the morning, but I wanted to show y'all these. This is the Daily Energy Extra Strength by Ali. It's like B12. Um, I have like, gotten like b12 shots before and they do like give you some energy but sometimes you might not be able to go get a b12 shot but this these like it, it's extra strength and when i tell you whenever i feel like i'm like lagging i do not take these every day i don't take these twice a week like i don't even take it twice a week because it is extra strength but like if you have your days where you like i really need to get stuff done today i really have a lot to do i just don't have the energy to do it this 
trust me sometimes they say take two on the bottle i'm gonna take two i'm taking two because yesterday was a long day today is gonna be a long day and so is tomorrow so that's why i'm taking two but i try to take just one but yeah yesterday we took the high schoolers on a field trip that was cool today the other group goes on a field trip uh this morning so i'm gonna stop by duncan after i do this i'm gonna stop by duncan so i can grab something to eat and a matcha hopefully because i just don't feel like making oatmeal i've been making oatmeal every morning so like hold me throughout the day um but i just don't feel like oatmeal today i've had oatmeal every morning for the past two weeks well for the past week and a half i've had my big huge whiteboard out like because i need to i'm one of those people that needs to like see things like i need to see what i have to do i need to be able to just like look up and look on something and see what it is i need to do so that's why i had like brought my big huge whiteboard out and i just like wrote down everything i needed to do it was full but now there are only three things left on there on friday there will be two things left on there um until i have to add more stuff which is a blessing like it's a blessing to be able to like have things to do and like have projects and have stuff to work on so don't get me wrong it's just like it feels good to like erase some stuff now and by erase it i mean like yes physically erase it from the board but also like knowing that the time that you spent prepping and planning something like it's done like it, it came to fruition and being able to like check that thing off like feels good so yeah that's today um start at the field trip go to the program and then tonight it'll be my regular routine i'm not vlogging any of that yeah i'm not vlogging any of that and i haven't vlogged throughout the week for the past week and a half because y'all don't need to see that <laughs> but um this weekend i do plan on vlogging because i need to reset this place it looks like it looks like i've been busy like if somebody came in here right now they would be like where have you been like where did you just come back from because it looks like like my suitcase is still out from when i went when i came back from florida like it, it's just a lot so we're gonna reset this this weekend but in the meantime i just wanted to show y'all those vitamins and i'll talk to y'all later hey y'all so i just left my um friend's daughter's dance recital here's a package we got some new glasses in um firmu sent me some new glasses they also the glasses that i have on now they sent me these so these frames i got from them too which are like my favorite frames at the moment these and my blue ones are like my favorite but all of my recent glasses are from them so they sent two other pairs to me here is what's this oh cute it's what is this i don't know what this is it's not for glasses right i don't know what this is though if you know what this is can you let me know it's not a wallet i'm not quite sure what i don't know what that is but yeah they put this in there but these are the two pairs here so it says you define your look so i got this pair which is like a clear frame they look like this oh i could have went darker on the lens because i got like a tinted lens on these i could have went a little bit darker oh i could have went a little bit darker on the lens i was worried that um it was going to be too dark indoors but i got a little uv protection on these um which is why it's like a tinted lens i like this i love like aviator style glasses i could have went a little bit darker but it's all good i still like them and then this pair is 
a pink pair because I really wanted a pink pair of glasses. They look like this. Um, and these are just like these. They're just like these. These are just pink. I got the same style frame because I already knew how these looked on my face and I liked how they looked. But I just wanted a pink pair of glasses. Um, so yeah. This is the pink pair. I am in love with these. Oh, I'm in love with these. These are so cute. These are really cute. So this is the pink pair. I'm gonna create um, some content with these maybe tomorrow. But yeah, we went to Chili's after the recital and now I'm back and I'm tired and I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Um, I was watching a show called Dead or Alive before I left, so I'm probably going to hop. Oh, wait, did I put this in the right one? I'm probably going to hop back into that show. Um, so I'm going to just sit those there and put back on my handy dandy ones for the time being. I really need to get an eye exam because I need to order some new, um, I need to order some new contacts. So I need to get an eye exam, but all right, talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm currently in the process of doing some passion twists on myself. Um, this is how many I've done so far. Don't look too hard at my parts, okay? Don't look too hard at my parts. I'm doing a separate video on these. This is my second time doing this style on myself. The first time was last August. And it lasted me. I like looked through my camera roll to see how long it lasted. It lasted me like four weeks and I think I took them out because I was just tired of them but also one thing I'm doing differently this time and like I'll talk about it in the video too but one thing I'm doing differently is I did not blow dry my hair so the last time I did this oh and I'm trying this so so slick braid grip gel from kaleidoscope it's the the brat um line from them but the last time I did this I blow dried my hair and my hair was like coming out of the twist because I blow dried it so I said this time I didn't want to blow dry my hair so I didn't I just um I washed it yesterday and I deep conditioned and I just did like um I did seven braids I started when I woke up so right now I set a timer on my phone it's like five o'clock or almost five o'clock but I woke up at like I think I woke up at like seven but I've been doing it according to my stopwatch for like three and a half hours because I have been stopping like I ate breakfast I stopped and made a matcha and drank a matcha I watched like three episodes of Selling Sunset so I have been stopping a lot. So right now I'm at like three and a half hours. And you see how much I've done so far. I've done a few rows. I don't know if y'all can see, but yeah. I needed a style to like hold me over because my I came to the conclusion, for one, that I'm doing protective styles all summer. You probably won't see me with my hair out, unless of course it's on the blog, but like my plan is to not really have my hair out this summer like always have it either in twist or like some braids or something or something very much something this summer because i just like the ease of waking up and going like i love the ease of taking a bonnet off and just going on about your day natural hair during the summer can be like ugh, because you have to like it's just a lot like it's just a lot and for the most part i started wearing like a lot of units or like wearing my hair straight during the winter but during the summer you can't be wearing your hair straight and it's too hot for units so i'm like let me just find some protective styles so i've saved a few to my pinterest and also to my tiktok um save videos that i want to try this summer so that's what i'm going to be doing y'all like and, and i plan on doing them myself because i just cannot take another hey boo text like i cannot take like i just cannot take it like that whole 
doing your research, finding a hairstylist who you think is going to be reliable and then finally booking with them and like building the excitement of like, okay, they haven't canceled my appointment yet. Okay, it's the night before they haven't canceled my appointment yet. And then you get that text like 30 minutes before your appointment in the morning. I just can't. <laughs> I, I refuse to put myself through that anymore. Like I have been through that. I've been through the hey boo text. I've been through the going to the appointment and somebody not wanting to give you your hair back that you bought, right? Like you bought your hair, them not wanting to give you the extra packs back. I've been through that. I've been through going and not liking your hair and the stylist getting upset because you don't like it. Like, and I just refuse to put myself through that. So anyway, I've been talking way too long. Let me get back into this. Okay, so it is 9.50. I have this much left. Um, and I have been working on it for six hours and 40 minutes. I'm going to stop there because I, I've been trying to time it and see how long it takes me. But I have just this left to do. This is how much I've done so far. Um, I will say that I could finish tonight. I really could finish tonight. But I want to give my hands a break because I do have um, carpal tunnel in my right wrist. And so I don't want to like cause it to flare up um, by trying to just finish it in one day. So I'm just gonna wrap it up and finish in the morning or afternoon. One of those. Hey y'all, so today is Wednesday, Wednesday morning and took a shower I just took the recycling down and I got the stuff out of my car so stuff in that wagon has been in my car since I finished my work Friday so it's like all the stuff I used to decorate the room y'all see the plan I had some clothes in there like that denim jumpsuit that I had used for my partnership um, with my work with 47 brand so like all of that, it's like a bin, a box. It's just a bunch of stuff in this wagon that I need to tackle today because I think I'm gonna go to Florida tomorrow, I think. And if so, I need to pack today and I also need to put this stuff away. Um, so what I'm gonna do, also, I was trying to give y'all like, I wash clothes. I was trying to give y'all like side part action, but I kind of, braided it really tight like not like oh my god tight but like it just needs like another day or two to loosen up so i'm gonna put it back in the middle where it feels okay so what i'm gonna do right now i have a low in the washer so i'm gonna start that and i'm gonna like separate the tablecloths that i need to wash out of here and so yeah so that can like get started from my apartment complex saying like the subject of the email was please remove truck and I'm like are y'all really sending me an email telling me to move my car why but it's about another truck but also why but I guess if you don't know whose it is then you would send it to everybody because I'm like why would you send that to everybody anyway I am about to go to Publix because today is Wednesday and I just checked. It's funny because I literally yesterday, last night, I was like, um, y'all, I'm about to put this on. This is Warm and Cozy by Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink. It smells just like the name, Warm and Cozy. Um, but I'm about to go to Publix because last night 
and I'm gonna put on my new glasses. This is gonna be my first time wearing them out. This is them. I think they're pretty funky. And these have like a little tint to them. I do wish I had went a little bit darker on the tint, but it's all good. Um, they kind of give me like 70s. I don't know, they, they give me 70s. But I'm in the process of washing these um, tablecloths. And so I'm on my last bottle of washing detergent. So last night I was like, mm, I wonder when Publix is gonna put their washing detergent back on sale. Just checked it and it's on sale. The kind that I like. So I'm about to go get some. I wish I had a better scrunchie, but I am just going to the store. So it's not that deep. Let's go. y'all it feels so good outside like it's don't get me wrong it's hot but it's not like unbearable hot and also it just feels wow this girl is all on the curb <laughs> um it's not unbearable hot and it also just feels good to have some fresh air like i haven't been out of the house for real for real since Aiden's recital on Sunday Saturday on Saturday that was the last time I was out of the house for real for real so I'm just like taking my time not moving fast not in a rush like just taking my time so I can get some fresh air but I will say it is definitely sunscreen season like no if ands or buts about it it's definitely that time of the year where you need to be well you need to be wearing sunscreen year round but like for sure for sure right now and i did not put on any sunscreen before i left the house so i've been trying to think about if i'm gonna stop somewhere and get something to eat but i don't know what i want i want something hearty but like i do want to eat something green at the same time like something kind of healthy but i might just go back in because i don't know what i want may go no lashes even better when you wake up y'all i just did a lot to get in here <laughs> like i was determined on not making more than one trip so i definitely um put my arm through it just to get all of this stuff in but i got some white vinegar now white vinegar is like a great cleaning a great cleaning product um i use a little white it's gonna sound weird but i saw it on tiktok and i've been doing it for months now because i saw it a while ago you put a little white vinegar in with your clothes when you wash them it makes a difference trust me also you can use this to like pour down your drink your drain sometimes to like get rid of any smells that may come from your drains and this one I found out recently when I had boiled crawfish. You know how like smells linger? If you pour white vinegar in a bowl and you just leave it out, like just leave it in a room, leave it in the kitchen, leave it wherever, it's gonna soak that smell up. Trust me, I tried it because I made those crawfish and like the smell was still there the next day. So I put some in a bowl, I left it in the kitchen for 24 hours, gone like it never even happened um i got four things of arm and hammer i got two of this one the clean burst that i've been using and i got two of this one Ooh, bag is ripping i got two of this one which is this one is older blasters wait hold on they're both older blasters but they're two different smells so this one is fresh botanical and this one is fresh burst they both smell amazing. So, got these. So, this should hold me for a while. Like, these should hold me for a while. Um, I was like, let me just stock up while they buy one, get one free. So, I'm going to put these up. 
Y'all remember when I was leaving and I was saying that um I should have looked and saw if they had water on sale. That's okay. Remember when I was leaving and I was saying that they were they sent an email to everybody about a semi truck being parked out there. When I came back, like they are not playing. <laughs> they are not playing about that semi truck. When I came back, they were like out there on the phone, like the people from the leasing office were out there on the phone. It was three of them and a maintenance person trying to figure out who that truck belonged to. They want to know whose truck that is bad. Also, you know what I was thinking too? Sometimes you're not sad. Sometimes you just really need to go sit in the sun for a while. <laughs> like, you know how you just like, oh, I'm sad. Sometimes you're not sad. Just go sit in the sun. Speaking from personal experience. But, okay, I really need to figure out what I'm doing as far as going to Florida. If I'm going tomorrow or if I'm going Friday, I need to ask Crystal what's happening. Um, Cause I think we're going down together. But yeah, I'm about to eat something and finish watching Queen Charlotte. I'm on the last episode. I hate that I'm on the last episode. This is really good. I wanted to like save it for when I wouldn't, I can just like focus on it and my mind wouldn't be a million different places, which is right now. So I'm on the last episode. It is really good. It is really good. It has me wanting to look up the actual history of like, and I, I'm one of those people that has never, ever been interested in like the monarchy in England, Britain, all of that stuff. Like, I don't care. I, I don't care. But this has me wanting to look up like the actual queen charlotte because i think it's based on a real person um i think so i want to see mm. all right hey y'all it is 10 oh okay hold on this is just not working out for me like i was saying it's 10 o'clock at night and i am wrapping up my packing i'm just throwing in like my last little bit of chargers etc etc i packed everything else except like my toiletries but i have all of those on the counter so that in the morning or whenever i decide to leave i can just throw them in my bags which are down here and that bin is going back to florida too that's why it's there but yeah just kind of let y'all know that i finished packing i did decide that i'm gonna go to florida tomorrow because i think earlier i was talking and i was like i wasn't sure I think I was saying I wasn't sure when I was going to go back to Florida, but I'm going to go tomorrow because I talked to Crystal. Um, my hesitancy was that I didn't know if like we were riding together or not. I didn't know what was going on, but um, I don't think she's coming to Florida anymore, so I can just go ahead and leave tomorrow. I have so many videos I need to edit, but no desire to edit them. Like That's the crazy part. I have like three or four vlogs a hair video and just like they're just sitting on here just sitting right here um so I, I need to do that i definitely want to do it when i get back home so and by home i mean florida i don't know i'm just gonna be like putting stuff away around here before i leave and i will talk to y'all later and by later i mean tomorrow Hey y'all, so today is Thursday morning and I'm about to go, it's 10.06. Um, I woke up a few hours ago, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I was like up for an hour scrolling on TikTok. I was like, it was an hour, it had to be an hour, like just scrolling on TikTok because I wanted my body to just like naturally get up and get like, you know, ready to leave. So I didn't wanna like force myself to say like, oh, I'm gonna leave Atlanta at 10 because then, that'll, you know, like I didn't want to like do that because then you feel like you're in a rush and you have to beat time as opposed to like, you know, just leisurely taking it minute by minute. So I got up, took a shower, um, I packed my wagon. That bag is on top is trash that I need to put in the trash chute. 
before leaving here but yeah i'm about to get on the road i am gonna stop by duncan first oh and these are another pair of my new glasses um i am gonna stop by duncan first to get some breakfast and i'm trying to decide if i want like a cold brew or if i want a matcha i'm leaning towards a matcha because i haven't had one in a few days um but yeah let's go i don't know if the next time you're gonna see me i'm gonna be in florida or not but we'll see i'll just see you the next time i pick the camera up Y'all, I'm at Dunkin', but I, I'm going through the drive-thru, but I pulled into a parking space because um, I remember, like, I don't know if I'm going to have a package coming to the house, and I'm going to be gone over three days, and we, when we get packages, it's like parcel pending, so they put it in a locker, and they charge you if it's, if it's in a, I think if it's in a locker over three days, they charge you for like each additional day so i was like it hit me that i was like hold on let me because i don't know if it's coming or not but i'm like let me pull over and put like my turn my vacation mode on because you can like put dates and say that you're on vacation this date to this date so that it doesn't charge you so i'm like let me do that a tornado flew around my room What's today? Okay, I just put it on today, which is the 25th to July, not July, ooh, not July, June 6th because I have another trip after this when I come back, which that'll be a different vlog. Um, but yeah, good. Okay, I'm glad I thought about that. That was nothing but God because I was like, I don't even think about the parcel pending. Funny story about this sticker. I don't know if I ever told y'all that's, um, it's like, I don't know, it's the, it's like an owl and it's supposed to signify like Harry Potter because for one, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but also um, when I was working on Dynasty, the TV show Dynasty, um, I was, I had sent an email to this photographer that we had gotten and my email signature, I usually send all of my emails from um, my computer so that it would have like my professional signature but I was like off or something and I emailed her back from my phone and my phone signature says sent from platform nine and three quarters and she when she came to set one day she brought me that sticker because she was like but yeah she was like I love Harry Potter so when I saw your signature I was like I have to take her this sticker so she had gave me that sticker I put it on my computer I need to check on her and see how she's doing all right Let's get our food and then we get on the road to Florida. Oh, yeah. Y'all, I'm editing this video that hopefully I can get to go up tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Also plan at me. Is it the shopping center? Y'all, they got this music so loud. I'll be the rubber band, you be the match. Boom. Look like the Stanley Cup things. These look like little uh, viral cups, the Stanley Cups. Mm -hmm. For a party, like if you had a disco theme mm -hmm. party. Oh, they heavy too. Yeah. Mm, that would be perfect for a disco party. You like yellow? Mm -hmm. The one thing I do wish I could find is that pink that I had gotten from, or well, the pink that I used to get at the salon. I really like that pink. I did too. Yeah. It was called Ballet Slipper. I could probably Google it mm -hmm. and find, you know, somebody to make it. We are at Target now. Y'all, I was like looking over. I said, what is this covering thing? Apparently, it's like a whole separate area where you can like drive up and get your groceries. In Atlanta, it's not like that. You just pull up in the front of the store and call it a day. Y'all, look at what I found. It's taking forever in a day. And it's the last one left too. But 
we found it. I was telling my mama how it's, oh man, I'm trying to get the focus, how this has been like sold out everywhere in Atlanta and it's the last one here. You can look at it if you want. And this one is the salicylic one. I kind of want to get both while because they are. I kind of want to get both. Since they be sold out of it. All of them be sold out. Mm -hmm. This one say fragrance free. Does that one say it? Um, Probably not. Guess I just get both while I'm here. So if I ever sin or <laughs> you know what? It's and it's the last one. It's it's always gone. Like something else I smell before. Did, did it smell good to you? Mm hmm. It smelled like the stuff up there, the, the method, the body. Oh, this smells pretty good. It's cute. We're going with this one because this one smells good. Y'all, I always see um, Kyra talking about this, but I never see it in the store. That smells good. Those smell amazing. Those smell really good. Screenshot it. I'm telling y'all, usually I don't trust when people are like, oh, this smells good, because usually it doesn't, but that smells good. Thank you. You too. You too. Well, he was out in the land waiting to come in with his classmates. Uh -huh. and were... Hey, y'all. So, we are in Sam's. So we're running some errands. Got some paper towels, tissue. Um, so yeah, today's Sunday, day before Memorial Day, which is why we run running errands. I go back to Atlanta tomorrow. Can you put it up here? Try to put it on the bottom. Okay. okay. Hopefully it won't be long. Okay. Snake plants. They haven't unboxed these yet. Mm -hmm. And they cost so much. Yeah, I'm like thirty dollars. Yeah, that's. They was, wasn't it like fifteen at IKEA? Y'all, here are um some lime. Well, this is an orange tree, but they have like tangerine tree. They have lime trees. But I wanted y'all to see a little lime. Oh, see, that's a little lime. And there's one over there, right there. Like some, some of the trees have limes on them. Which are really cute. I wanted to show y'all. Oh, see? All right, hey y'all, I just got back to Atlanta and I wanted to show y'all some stuff that we had picked up, my mom and I. 
when we were around Cali, Cali Nasty, um, and some stuff I'm really, really, really excited about. Oh, first, my niece. So my niece came to the house last night. We were watching, um, we watched Real Housewives of Atlanta, and then we watched Summer House, and then we watched the Succession finale. But she had these pretzels from Trader Joe's. If you like pretzels, if you like chocolate covered pretzels, these are really good. They're strawberry and vanilla flavored yogurt pretzels and they're really tiny. I have a bag that's open around here somewhere because I didn't finish the bag last night, but she bought a bag for me and my mom this morning. She went to Trader Joe's before I left and she dropped these off. These are so good because I was telling her like, I don't know if they have those in Atlanta. I haven't seen them in Atlanta. So she has stopped by and got me those. They are really good. If you see them in your local Trader Joe's, Try them. We got some Dove from Sam's Club. You know, the bulk, the bulk one. Um, we went to Target. I'm sure y'all saw that. We got this Saltair. I think it's called Saltair. A uh, body wash. This is in Santal Bloom. It says Skin Rejuvenating Serum Body Wash. This smells good. This smells it just smells good like i can't explain it like i think i like warmer scents i do like a floral here and there but i love when it has like a warmer touch to it this smells good so if you see the brown one in salt salt sun santal bloom can you talk uh smell it in the store and see if you like it also one of these is open, but I'm not sure which one, but I can like feel it on the bottle. Um, this Naturium body lotion, this is in the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. This, this will have you feeling so soft. I used it one time while I was there because I was like, let me just try it. Um, I used it one time while I was there. I was like, ma, feel my leg. It feels soft, doesn't it? Like this feels good so i'm like excited to try it. i think this is the one that's open i think this is the one that's open but i'm excited to try it in combination with the glow getter um body wash i know y'all can't really see that but it's the glow getter multi oil body wash i'm gonna try this tonight when i take my shower and then use this afterwards this I can't explain it. Of course, I've been hearing about Notorium all over TikTok for months, but I have never been able to get my hands on it because it's always sold out in Atlanta. I have been to like four different, hold on. I've been to five different Targets in Atlanta. Can never find it, it's always sold out. The only way, I, I have actually been on the Target app too to like see if I can find it at an available Target up here. And they're always sold out. The only way you can get it is if you order it online. I didn't want to order it online. The Glow Getter, this was the last one on the shelf in Tallahassee. They had like three of these and then they it looked like they had just stocked up on this one. This is the green one. The Perfector Salicylic Acid Body, Sal, Salicylic Acid body wash smooth softens and renews for more even looking skin so i don't, actually don't know which one now i'm gonna try to glow get her just because it was so hard to get my hands on it and it was the last one on the shelf i'm gonna try this one tonight and maybe this one tomorrow but i'm so excited i'm gonna update y'all on those to let you know if it's like really worth the hype because i feel like they have like a lot of hype around them but i'll let y'all know i got this glass from walmart and the reason i got this glass is because when I make my smoothie recipes or my matcha recipes on TikTok or Pinterest or even on my YouTube shorts, I just wanted like a shorter glass and a more like compact glass to put it in. So, you know, that's the only reason I got this for my recipe videos. Also, from Target, we got this uh, TSA travel kit is like the plastic bag that you put these in and also the different like stuff that you put things in um, containers and it also has I don't know if y'all can see but it has little labels in here that you can like peel off and stick onto the containers 
so you know what's in which container and they had these in different colors of course my favorite color is blue so i got the blue one um my mom had got this happy feet cream healthy feet i don't know why i keep calling this happy feet like the movie healthy feet cream um but she gave it to me because she couldn't use it so i'm gonna try this i'll also let y'all know how i like this as well i got another bottle of this from target which is the 24 hour eos lip not lip body lotion in coconut waters um this is my favorite scent in the body lotion i have another one that i'm almost out of so that's why we went ahead and got another one um they have another one they have like other scents that people rave about but this one is by far my favorite scent from them i got these neutrogena makeup remover wipes in a pack i also got this native body wash in coconut and vanilla it's just the travel size that you can you know pack in your bag and you don't have to worry about it uh tsa approved um so i got that i also got oh i didn't realize we had gotten wait i didn't realize we had gotten this because I had got these from Ross. These are the Nivea makeup wipes. So, for travel. So I got two packs of those and also these lashes in Sultry by, I can't read that, but this is what they look like. These lashes in Sultry. Who are these by? The Lashes we went to five below like when i was home i was like i want to go all the places that i'm not like easily able to go to in atlanta because in atlanta anyway let me i'll come back to that from five below we got these clorox wipes so you know you can wipe things down um germs germs and then this pink polish which reminds me of a polish that i used to get on my toes from this place that i stopped going to that's a story for another day but this kind of reminds me of the pink that i used to get from there so i've been trying to like find it in the store in the shop it's called ballet slipper this is called uh heart of stone but it looks close so i want to try it and see and i also got this clear uh dispensing bottle for travel as well um but yeah when i was home i was i want to go all the places that are not going to be a hassle for me to go to in atlanta like in atlanta things are so far apart that like you have to plan a day to be like okay there's a ross over there a target over there a five below over there so i'm just gonna go to that area and it's gonna take me 20 minutes to get over there traffic maybe 40 i'm probably gonna grab food like it's not like in tallahassee where things are just like like you could just hop all around and it's really not a big issue but in atlanta you have to be strategic about where you're going when you're going what time you're going what else is in the area what other spots can you hit while you're out and i just you know sometimes i just don't be feeling like doing all that so that's why anyway i have a lot to unpack you can't really see it but my wagon is uh got stuff and then i have stuff on the floor that i need to unpack some clothes i need to wash um because i'm gonna end this vlog here the next time i pick um the camera up which will probably be tomorrow i'm gonna be packing again so i'm gonna unpack tonight pack again tomorrow because i'm going to california california on wednesday so this week i'm going to california and i'll see y'all in that vlog stay tuned thank you for watching thank you for being with me like because i know i took a break with like vlogging editing uploading so thank you for being patient if you're still watching i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video bye